So pretty soon y'all are going to be hearing or seeing or reading about all of these millions of UN troops that are in our country because the borders have been open for the very purpose of letting the UN troops in. The point of this is to say, I think we're past the point of trying to form militias. Like right now sometime, like as soon as you realize what's happening, that they're here, it's too late to do that. Y'all should have done that two years ago. For, militias have to be organized, they have to be trained, they have, you know, there's just not time for that. If you tried to do it now, that's going to be what sets off these, um, probably they're all sleeper cells, who knows, these UN troops. Um, the worst thing anybody can do when you start seeing this shit is to fear. And that's going to be like super hard to do because you'll we'll be living in the midst of chaos. But um, my God, I'm already like our collective unconscious is why we're uh, where we are today. We don't need to add more fear to that shit. God, it's already a fucking dumpster fire. No, some logical people might be asking, well, wait a minute. We've got this big war going on in Israel. You'll see that this Israeli war kind of popped off out of nowhere. And um, Israel has now drafted 300,000 soldiers, right? The thing is, it's just all a, a game. It's a, it's their acting. It's a distraction. Yeah, they're throwing around some bombs and shit. But, and yeah, they're laundering some money. And yeah, they're trafficking some kids. You know, but they do that all the time anyway. Like so Hamas, like, the Muslims and the Jews get along better together than the Muslims and the Christians or the Jews and the Christians. That's fact. Okay, so that should put some things in perspective. This whole war in Israel is a is a distraction from the UN troops, the millions of UN troops that are in our country right now in every state. What I hate is that there's still so many people in this country who still believe even if you even if it's just fox there is a fucking dumpster fire full of lies they, they all lie they all lie so like you you got to go elsewhere for your news like and then after you go to that first elsewhere then you got to go to a second elsewhere to fact check the first elsewhere people like say the ugliest things about conspiracy theorists but the fact is is that we check our facts and then we check those facts and like we we're constantly just checking and rechecking and checking again facts that's what we do that, that that's how that's why we know this shit so i think it's super hilarious i just have to add this that when people jump in the comment section you know on like one of my posts talking about you just silly conspiracy theorist and then they go into a barrage of nothing but personal attacks. They, like, bring no facts, only attacks. They bring no facts, only attacks. Then, like, you got to know I'm smarter than them just because of that. So I'm going to close by saying I'm not trying to scare anybody, alarm anybody. I would just, um, um, I would just suggest, you know, everybody just kind of, know what's going on and and by this time everybody should have a pretty good understanding of the fact that mainstream mu news none of it there's none none of it none of it tells the truth they all lie they're all owned by blackrock vanguard and the other two right so if they're owned by them that's definite you can know that they're telling you a lie okay and they want they want to eat your soul. Oh, and then there's this. If there's anybody who's, you know, lives in the Ozarks and they want a roommate, or they live like somewhere else in the world, that's not about to get, you know, whatever to, you know, and you need a roommate. Hey, I'm a great roommate. I'm a fucking amazing roommate.